Hello everyone, my name is Wu Yang Li. Today, I'm delighted to be here to present our research on normal things and classes towards adaptive open-side object detection. In previous studies, there was a key focus on transferring the object detector to a new domain without labels. However, these works assume a shared class space between the two domains, which can't formulate a more realistic domain transfer towards the real world. To break through this barrier, we introduced the open site sighting and hope to identify the novel objects in the new domain. As demonstrated in this figure, after training with the labeled data, the model needs to be robust to the cross-domain distribution shown in the blue color, and also needs to be discriminative for the open site distribution shown in the gray color. Some previous solutions select the region proposals according to the low order information for the self-training such as measuring the pairwise distance between the object candidates and class centers. However, these works are suboptimal when dealing with the cross-domain and open-side objects together, because they are both embedded outside the labeled distribution, which can be well modeled and distinguished with low-order solutions. In order to solve this dilemma, in this work, we introduced the concept of a motif which represents the subgraph with held patterns. In a graph, the edge models the pairwise relation between two nodes, while the motif can model more complex and high-order relationship among multiple entities. We will use this nature to model the high-order relation among class centers and extremes to address the low-order limitation. Specifically, to address the open-side issue, we aim to use motif to model the object level property among different class centers. For example, the car and the person are both foreground objects and share some object level property, like relatively complete boundary, which will be extracted by motif and used for open site learning. Besides, for the cross domain issue, we hope to use motif to model the high order relation among class extremes which can discover the within-class diversity for better domain transfer. We deploy our idea on the decoded object queries of detection transformer, including the structure-aware novel class and the transfer learning modules for the open side and the cross-domain solutions, respectively. Specifically, in the source domain, we first approximate the class centers and the extremes and save this information in a semantic bank. Then, we build up a graph by connecting different class centers and linking object queries with class centers. After that, we will assign a motif for each object query to extract high-order patterns for the open site learning, which is guided by a high-order metric gamma. Concretely, the gamma can not only encourage the motif to extract more object-level information, but also prevent to be too similar to some base classes. Finally, we use the top key motif with the object level information to optimize the unknown possibility for the open side learning. Similarly, in the target domain, we establish a semantic graph by linking the class extremes in the same class and connecting the object queries with class extremes as the low order relation candidate. In this graph, we reuse the cosine term in the pre designed high order matrix gamma to assign a motif for each object query. Finally, we use these assigned motifs with cross-domain information to perform a self-training for the domain transfer. In our experiments, we design three data side sightings and four types of class splittings to fully simulate different real-world scenarios. Our method can surpass the latest works on both of the base class and the novel class evaluations. Moreover, the first module can improve the novel class identification a lot. While well, the second module can not only enhance the cross-domain transfer, but also slightly improve the open-site learning. For the bonding box visualization, the proposed method can discover better and more novel class objects and reduce some false positive cases. In summary, we improve the problem definition by introducing the open-site setting for the domain adaptive object detection and propose a unified motif-based framework to solve the cross-domain and open-side issues jointly. Thanks for your listening.